well, 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 well. Fuck you, man. You don't know DJ Mark Lee. You better preach. You may disagree, but up to me, it's a fact. You can't run in backs. It ain't no fun in that. Yeah, the sermon about to start, so I hope you know your stats. And if Kev get it wrong, then Rashad gon' have his back with, with the facts. Matter of fact, all we do is say win. Wins when wins, congregation say amen. Trades, debates, wins, losses, the latest news, but Prophet Phil speak, he got him saying hi. Right, welcome to Preach Kev, Preach with Rashad. Here's another episode, another sermon coming at you from Wildcard Sports here on Wildcard TV. Rashad, we got a champion, man. How you feeling today? Hey, what they say? Warriors come out and play. <laughs> Them boys came out to play, man. They are they're back on top. It's the what six finals in eight years. We won four titles. It's definitely the the Warriors, Steph Curry, Le- LeBron era, man. That's that's the time we living in. But primarily the last few years, it's been mainly all Steph. He's he's back on top. We saw the emotion coming out as talent winding down. He was you know, hugging his dad. Uh, very emotional crying and stuff like that. So, and they've already said it. This one, it, it hits a little bit different because that first one they won, they kind of came out of nowhere and, you know, some injuries happened throughout those playoffs and right. they really didn't get full, full credit for it. Of course, setting three win season, lose a 3 1 lead. And then you get Durant and go back to the back. So, after the last two years of Clay being injured for two years, Steph having a broken hand, I mean, he got injured. The end, of, the end of this season, uh, everybody criticizing Draymond to see them back on top. Man, it's it's, it's nice to see them back on top. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm about to say it's um. First off, I knew, I knew Warriors was winning in six. I knew they win this game. Like, you could, so, I had them in five. Like, I thought they could have got it in five because they missed a few opportunities. And they, they blew game one. So I mean, you definitely was right. I mean, on on, on right, right track. I, I don't. I, I knew Boston wasn't like, and, and I don't mean to say this in a bad way, but Boston ain't got no dogs in them. Like, they don't like, like Draymond. Draymond, the, the guard dog over there, like he was barking, even though he he played bad. Oh, the thing is, he played bad, but like not really. Like he didn't play that terrible. Like defensively, he was still there, which is what he supposed to bring to the table. Did he get rebounds? No. Did he get assists? No. So that's what he lacked. I don't care about scoring for Draymond. It's my job as a GM, as a front office, to provide scoring around Draymond, which they do. Curry, Clay, Wiggins, Jordan Poole. List goes on. We we got the scoring. You worry about the defense, right? And he showed in what game, in game six, what well, knocking down threes. Hey, he started Man. making threes. I was like, oh, it's over with. <laughs> That's it. Oh yeah, when he when he when he put up ten and what ten points, like twelve boards and eight like assists. That was that, that that was that typical throwback Draymond game. Like he's only gonna be like a six six seven eight or an eight yeah. eight seven nine type of game. But when he when he's putting up a double double plus almost a triple double. You know it's, it's game time. Yeah, I'm about to say, man. It, the Warriors play good. I mean, from Andrew Wiggins, like, dominate. I mean, he dominated the series. Like, the way he was able to attack, attack the basket. And that's what I try to tell people like, the whole time. Like, they needed that with Curry. Like, you can't just – everybody can't shoot threes. Because, like, I remember having the debate. And, you know, you know, I'm, you know I'm going to get into the clay hate eventually in the show. Uh, we're already three minutes in. I'm, I'm already about to start hating. But, like <laughs> – <laughs> But – like my my thing was like Wiggins, he 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 can attack the basket, put the ball on the floor, and what what we talked about game five. Remember we, we were talking. We was like, man, I I need him to make one three. He was over five, over six. He still scored twenty six points. Name name me a game where Clay don't hit no threes and still score twenty six points. Like it won't happen. It won't happen. You have to be you have to be. Oh, and this is what Wiggins come in like he's a three level scorer. Like I don't, don't care what nobody say. He was a first round pick for a reason. Yeah his yeah he don't have the. Superstar, everybody can't be LeBron first pick of the draft, but he get into this role where he can just be him. And come on, like 26 and 13, he had an 18 and 17 game. And then last night, he, he felt, I think, I forgot what he had last night, but he had a nice, nice little game uh, that, that helped, helped Seth Curry along the way. So, like, I mean, this, it, it's, it, it was, and I think every championship, you always can look at it and be like, time and play a key role. Like, the Lakers are down. The Clippers are hurt. Suns, I don't know what the hell happened to them. Folded. <laughs> the Suns, Suns folded, folded like hell, right? And then you and then you, you got you get to play the Mavs and the Nuggets, who both are one player dominant. And the Warriors, even though Steph, Steph Curry has always been like the the lead guy, they're you know they're, they they still move as one. You know what I mean? Like it's it's, it's Luke and the Mavs. 
But for the most part, it ain't Curry and the Warriors. It's like the Warriors who got Steph Curry. Like we got, you know, and and, and I think that's a difference when the teams come in. You know, time and everything. They 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 they, they were the most healthiest team. Like I, I said, uh, like maybe game four, everybody was back. I said, who the hell gonna play? Everybody back now. Like I, I never seen them. <laughs> Curry, Curry know what to do either. You know, I, I think they lost. They lost the game where where everybody was healthy because Curry was like I don't know who to play. <laughs> I don't know who to play out there, but. Shout out to the Warriors, man. That's a that's a that's a hell of a hell of a turnaround season. Cause I know I know, I know a lot of people, including myself, I'm like I don't really see the Warriors really getting another one, uh, cause they're not getting no better, right? Um, but when when Jordan Poole come out of nowhere to be a you know a good you know role player, uh, Gary Payton, and then Wiggins emerged as a like he 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 showed he could be a two way star. Like he's an All Star starter. Like so. You know, you got you add, you add those to the Clay Draymond and, and, and uh, Curry dynamic. Hey, anything can happen. Yeah, um, I'm with you. We, I think we both kind of felt like once the Raptors won that title, Clay was injured. We were like, well, Durant's leaving. Who knows if they'll get back again? Like this could be the end of their run unless something something changes. So I think most people were kind of out on them and then especially once clay got hurt again and Steph missed we were like oh man you're starting to get older mm-hmm. injuries are starting to pile up it, it may be uh the end of their run like i thought they were gonna make it back one time because I, I i thought like well uh wherever kevin durant goes i just feel like it was inevitable that he would play the wars in the final so i thought they would get back one more time but they wouldn't win it but to see him get back here um it's great and like i gotta go back to the wiggins point man Two way start, bro. He he just had the best season of his career, and then what we just talked about, Wiggins brings to the table. Like for his career, 82, 81, 82, 82, 73, 54, 71, 73. For anyone who don't know what those numbers are, that's the number of games he played every season he's been in the league. Yeah. The dude is healthy; he can play every game, and that's something the Warriors needed because they didn't have play to start the year. Steph did go down. Draymond missed some time. So, like, having a guy like Wiggins who can be in there and be versatile, you need that. Mm -hmm. Three seasons in his career, his second year he put up 20. His third year he put up 23.6. And then, like, his uh, fifth year he put up 21.8 points a game. Like, the dude can put the ball in the best. It goes in the best. It was a 20-point score. It goes in the best. His career average is 19.3. He can put – on, on 44% field goal percentage, he can put the ball in the basket if you ask him to. Mm-hmm. I mean, and we know, like you say, man, we love a wing. Wiggins is what, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, probably 6'8", with shoes on, Yeah, about about 200 pounds. Like, that's what you need to you win need. games, man. Like, you. the Warriors had the blueprint for the most part. Like, he basically – kind of took that Harrison Barnes role. Mm-hmm. Like, Barnes is like a 6-7 wing, can score, defend, and that's what Wiggins did. Um, I'm honestly happy for him, man, to yeah. to have the season he had. Like, he, like you said, everybody's not going to be the first pick in the draft and go on to be LeBron James or Elijah Warren or Shaq. This is, this is what needed to happen for his career. He's an eight, eight-year pro. Minnesota thought he was going to be the franchise guy. He wasn't. He was just miscast. Like, he's not the one or – he's not going to be the lead guy that will take it to a championship. But right. as the the second or third best player, or however you, however you want to rank this, you know, who's more important, Draymond, Wiggins, Clay, Dre, Wiggins, whatever, this is the type of role he needs. He's still around his career average. He put up 17 this year, made the all-star team, played – lockdown defense on Tatum, mm-hmm. covering Luka great. Like, whatever assignment you asked him to do, he did it. Um, you mentioned some of his games. Game one, scored 20. Game two wasn't that great. He um he only scored 11. Like, stat sheet-wise, it wasn't great, 11 to 6. But he played great defense on Tatum in game two. Yep, exactly. uh, game three, he put up 18. Uh, game four was the game you talked about, the 17 to 16 double-double. Uh, game five was the 26 and 13 double double. And then, of course, when they closed out game six, he uh, he was 18, six, and five. See, that's like dude, yo. dude had a hell of a damn series, man. Like, from scoring yeah. to defending, his playmaking was on display at times. Like, he was doing it all. 
give give me the give me the wings who can do everything. And what can Wiggins not do? Like like like. Okay, is he collecting? He's not the best. He's not the best shooter, but he's a threat. If you kick it to him, he's gonna. He's not gonna miss them all. I, I'm about to say, I don't think he has a. What's the What's the free throw percent? I mean, I think free throw is probably his biggest weakness. Like, because like you mentioned, Game Five, where um you had to bet that he would make one three. He went over six. Right. Game six, he was four from nine from three. So like, he's a threat to knock it down. Whether it's falling or not that day, that's that's gonna be you no. Know, right. Back and forth, like he's it's only a few steps and Trey Young's and Ray Allen, right? Exactly, but like you know, he went over six and he come back and go four for nine. Um, but yeah, free throws probably his biggest weakness, I think, career wise. He's around like 70 percent because he could because he could do everything, he but hell, LeBron James around 70 exactly. 72 percent. So, he, like, <laughs> he can, first off, he, he could duck on you and your whole team, uh, he can he can score inside, he can post you up, he can he can make mid range, he can make the three ball. He, like you saw, boy, play great defense. He can rebound and five assists in the last game. So he can. Well, obviously, it's not hard to pass the ball when you hand the ball to Steph, set a little screen, and Steph, and Steph shoot it. You know, what I'm saying you get a little three, but you still you still can pass the ball, especially in that system. So like you get, bro. Wiggins Wiggins was the the biggest addition. I mean, we said it, we said it before. We said that that was that's the X factor for the Warriors. Like if he played good, and we were like, if he played good, it's it's a wrap because he can cancel out. One of the stars of the Celtics, just 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 alone, and you know, or at least or at least like diminish the role a little bit. Um, I, I think this is part. This part was crazy, like because the Warriors got the same three guys, right? Dre, Clay, and Curry. Barnes was, I mean, play could play defense, could, could basically do what Wiggins do, except I don't think he can do it consistently. Obviously, you get Kevin Durant, and you go way over the top, right? And then Wiggins scare you back a little bit more, but Wiggins right in that middle. If you was winning, if you was winning championships with Barnes and you won with KD, I mean, it only makes sense that you win, you win with Wiggins too, and, and 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 that's right in the middle of the two. So, um, shout out to the front office, like like I said, like if you, and this is my thing, like with Draymond Green, you got to have like the, the GM. They just played a great time because if, if Draymond doesn't score, you need scores. Clay, he's going to give you the same thing, right? Whether he give you twelve points or twenty five, he's still going to average his 18, 19 points a game. That, that's what he, and that's what he do. Um, but he he can't put the ball on the floor. So what do you got to do? Go get you another space creator, and you can win. KD Wiggins and you and you winning like I'm not saying you win a dominantly, but you dominate the, the uh, Nuggets. You dominated the Mavs. Uh, who who who's the play? Do, the dominated the Grizzlies. Uh, yeah. So and for Boston for the most part, outside of the the game one debacle, they dominated them too. So it's it's a it's it's an art to building a team. Um, and I think I think the Warriors have mastered that um, to a level where any move they make next is probably right or probably wrong, and yet they could probably still bounce back from it. Because get, getting getting D'Lo, I thought was great, right? And I was like, I'm still thinking they should have drafted Lamelo, but who I know they still won championship without it. You know, what I mean? like 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 without him or without him or Wiseman playing. <laughs> right, exactly. So yeah, so you yeah, yeah so, so that's like, crazy. You, it's like Looney, Looney was big for them. Yeah, so you like you you draft the Wiseman to replace the Looney part. It don't work out, and you still win. You you trade D'Lo for a guy who everybody throw it away in Wiggins. You still win. Like, is like it, is they it, got a two for one. They they traded Russell for Wiggins and the uh, Kaminga pick. Basically, got, first off, Minnesota got Minnesota, Minnesota. Minnesota has helped the Warriors more than any other team ever. Like, <laughs> it all go back to the draft day when they they passed on Curry twice. Now, all right, so like, I think I th- so. Like, here's my point on that. Like, Minnesota passed on put a, Curry. Put a bound in Minnesota, man. <laughs> but Minnesota got a lot to do with the reason why the Warriors championship. They, they passed on. They passed on Curry for Rubio and uh, Johnny Johnny Flynn. Flynn. Hey, so, Wiggins. so look, here's my thing. So like, all right, so I think didn't didn't New York have a pick before? And they drafted somebody else before Curry. No, nah, Knicks. I think I think Knicks had to pick, pick after. after. Okay, okay. So, they, they went for Curry to fall to so, the but Warriors. Took, uh, the Curry, like, I think yeah, Curry, Curry was seven, eight. right? Curry was seven. So yeah. I mean, so Timberwolves had two picks in front of them. So really, only uh, so what? Only four teams. Yeah, only four teams made a mistake. Number one, one through four. I, well, I think James Harden went one of them. Blake Griffin with another one. I forgot who the uh, seemed to beat. So and somebody else. But those those picks. To me, and my, my point is, they they messed up. Those teams messed up because obviously Curry is better than Harden, even though we love Harden. Uh, he better than yeah, Blake. Was, Blake was the first pick to beat with the second pick. So it was Clippers, Grizzlies, Harden, OKC at three, 
Tyree Evans at four to, to the Kings, Rubio at five to Wolves, Flynn at six to Wolves, then Curry at seven to the Warriors. So even even though Blake Griffin, Jaden Harden great, had great careers, those, those two teams. Like they, no matter what, like, like Blake's going to be number one pick no matter what. Yeah, yeah. But but the Clippers made a mistake. The Grizz, <laughs> the Grizz made a mistake. OKC, would first off, would have been crazy if they took uh, Curry instead, but they made a mistake. And then I'll say the Kings made a mistake. The Minnesota Timberwolves did not make a mistake. They chose not to draft Curry. Because not only did you have one pick, you had two at the same position. So that, that, mean, that means you, you you didn't like Curry at all. To 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 pass on him one time and then like, oh, I'm gonna do it again. Like that's that's what you know they didn't really want me. They didn't really want Curry. And I, I remember like him coming out, like, was it as like a Cinderella esque? You know, is he gonna be for real in the NBA? Who knew? You know what I'm saying? But hey, Minnesota, man, didn't it then they trade d for Wiggins and gave him Kaminga. So if 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 Kaminga panned out with potential and Wiggins, you know, stayed there for a long term, and now, now you got a, a three and a four who can do a lot defensively. Come on, Minnesota. You just keeping you keeping the wars around. Like, God damn. <laughs> uh that's crazy. Right, Minnesota, come on, man. Right, Minnesota didn't start doing anything with Warriors. Um Yeah, I mean to to be fair, you know. If Curry goes to a different team, we don't know if he turns to the same player or not as well. Because I sure. mean, you know the the aspect of being with Mark Jackson, Steve Kerr, like the player development, hell, the the training staff, the the health team to even get his angles back to where he could be this guy. So and not having a cheap ass know, owner either. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they don't mind spending. So like. You got to credit everybody involved. Like, things will just fall how they're supposed to fall. Like, he went to the Warriors. They drafted him. They drafted Clay. They drafted Draymond, uh, Harrison Barnes. And like you said, my Barnes, like, the production Wiggins give you, when they were making the finals and winning titles, Barnes wasn't even giving you that. He was giving you, like, nine or ten points a game on average. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, you step from that to the, a KD 25, then 27, down, yeah. and then you, then you come down to uh, – a wig is 18, 19, you're still in a good position. So, yeah, the Wolves, they, you know, we can say they made a mistake, but at the same time, we got to look at it from the standpoint of does Curry turn into the guy that, um, hey, that we been, know I love today. Hey, that would have been a nice team. K Love, Rubio, and Curry would have been a nice team together, though. They probably they ain't play on defense, but they might score, they might score 130. Like Rubio going to pass that ball now. But anyway, Dang. hey, so, all right, so before we get to Boston side, I want to stay with the Warriors because now, now, it's the question of, you know, obviously congratulations to the Warriors for winning another championship. Dynasty, check, you know. Um, but now you got to ask the question, what's next, okay? And like I said, like we, like we just said, it, it doesn't matter what they do, it's going to work out somehow, right? So, and, and there's many ways to skin this cat uh, for the Warriors because, like I just said, Curry didn't know who to play at the end of the day. Like, Otto Porter Jr. had some good moments. Gary Payton had good moments. Jordan Poole. Bro, the fact that they have Wiggins, who is a former number one pick, and then Porter was a like, the third pick. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so that's 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 that's, that's crazy. Then so, you had Wiseman, who was your second or third pick, and he didn't even play at all. So like, yeah. so you have some stuff and Kami- that Kaminga you can work and with going Kaminga and Moody are two lottery picks. Like Kaminga top ten, and Moody Moody was top uh, in the lottery. Uh, so you you got, and that's the thing, you got so many options to do. And, and here, here's my here's my first thing, okay. And like I said, so now now we're 18 minutes into the pot, and here come another Clay Hate thing. I just think it's financially irresponsible to say run it back because you have a chance to upgrade your team for more to more, like like. And I, I get the whole nostalgia thing because that that is hard to pass up on. Like when you have three guys or whatever it is. It's been together so long, just, just, just like the um the last dance with the Bulls. Like it's so hard to get rid of Pippen and Jordan, like because like you feel like you gotta break everybody up at one time. Usually nobody really stay at the end. Like OKC, they all gone now. Like you know what I'm saying? Like when they, when they all broke up, so it's hard to it's hard to keep the band together, in my opinion. Like here because we're talking about paying eighty three million dollars to Clay the next two seasons. He didn't really have he didn't have a good series at all. I mean, he averaged seventeen points on thirty three percent shooting in front of the field, which all he did was shoot threes. Um, I think I think uh, you got to find a way to come off that a little bit or something because if if you do run it back and, and like I said I think whatever they do is probably gonna work out. 
Um, if you if you if you trade him, like I would I would use the Wiseman upside potential thing because what if he's never good? What what if Wiseman never like a good player? But we don't know that. Bro, we ain't gotta go to that point. We gotta go to the point we always bring up. Big men just aren't that valuable in the game. Like yeah. you have Looney, serviceable. Like you, you have, have McGee and Bogut back in the day. I, I'll say you got JaVale McGee. Um, what, what's what's your boy's name in Milwaukee? Lopez. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Brooke Brooke Lopez. Like shoot, Nick Claxton in Brooklyn. Like, do you really need a a big Robert Williams? Yeah, yeah. Like, do you really have to do? You, we love Miles Turner. Like, do you really have to go out here and spin big, or like try to just? draft the big guy every time when you can just get by as long as you have the other pieces in place hey. you can get by on just having a serviceable big yeah and and, and that's why I'm, I'm like man so so i and i and i guess that i guess this is a, a great opportunity for the wars because like you can you can you can catch a couple of franchises who, who who's in disarray right like i know i know rumors say levine gonna sign back but but you think bulls gonna let him walk no way uh Jazz, Jazz cannot afford to lose Mitchell, no matter what. Um, obviously, Bradley Bill wants to stay in Washington. So th- those are like the three main names, right? That you always talk about. Um, but like, I mean, Bill want to stay; he can get his money. Right, right. He got, he got. I other, mean, he, he, got he other said he wants to win, but D- DC, great location, great place. One of my favorite places to visit. <laughs> you ride, you ride the road from DC, but yo, <laughs> they have not been a win franchise lately so yeah if his indication is winning he won't be in dc long yeah so so and i don't think like this so like even if you can get off clay and like i said it's financially responsible to pay him 83 million dollars next two seasons it's just not it's not worth it because i can go i can go max right now trade him for another max player who got who got the bag and that can open up my curry window because curry you know is another topic. 34. You know, he's he's 34. So how long do we, we got to still win? Yeah, we just won the championship. We know that. But we know we know in, in this game, you have to get better. Run running it when is when is running it back work? How many times does it really work? Because Bucks is running back. Middleton got hurt. I'll say it, it it depends what we're, what we're looking at. Um Shaq and Kobe three peated. Um and like you know, of course we're gonna say like it's a time that's definitely changed and evolved since right. you know early two thousands. And like you know, Spurs kept running back with the Duncan, Ginobili, Parker. So Warriors are kind of in that similar mold of the Steph, Clay, Draymond to the Spurs. Right. Uh, the, the Heat had their four year run with the Bosch, Wade, LeBron. Uh, of course, Brown's at his prime. And then who else do we have uh, after that? It was Warriors it with Warriors. Steph, oh, the, the, the KD edition. So. And they did run it back, or look at like Toronto. They kept it together for a while, swapped out DeRozan and a few other pieces. They, they got Pascal, added Kawhi, got Mark Gasol, got got Serge, and they made their, their push to the finals. So it all it all depends how you look at it. Like the the core of the books did run it back a few times and then broke through. Right. They swapped out Drew for Bless over Drew. And then that was kind of what pushed them, plus some other small pieces around and stuff like that kind of pushed them over the hump. So mm-hmm. it all just depends. Um, running it back, if you're talking about core pieces, yeah, but you still have to make sure those other pieces are in, are intact too. Like um, payroll-wise, like Otto, Igor Dollar right? comes off the books, Looney's off the books. Uh, Gary Payton the second, who was huge for them, he's off the books. He, he he's gonna try to get paid. Yeah, and he got kept because like if you Gary Payton, you've already capitalized, got your ring as a key contributor. Now you can go. I I, I think I think if you I think if you're like a bench player, like if you're a bench player and win, you probably just need to stay. Like, <laughs> but if you want to see your role grow, this is an opportunity for Gary Payton to 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 do that. Um, so and and, and my thing is like. You have to. You. Have, I think the reason. That's the big reason. So, it, it, let's say. Let's say it's not. Let, let's say it's not Clay. Let's say. Let's say you say we're not gonna. We're just gonna die until Clay, Draymond, and Curry all retire, right? And I'm. And and like I said, no, no matter how you skin this cat, is okay. Do you trade Wiggins and Wiseman for the same for the same for the same idea? Like I, like, not trying to run it back. But my thing is, what if Wiseman not it? Like 
then then what happens? Like if Wiseman not it, or Kaminga never pan. I mean, and we we know the Warriors. We we say the Warriors develop players, right? But they only, I mean, it's been the same three guys the whole time. And look, <laughs> and, and to be fair, we gotta we have to start asking the Wiseman question. To be fair. Uh, rookie year played 39 games, averaged I think 11 and six, 11 and seven. This year didn't get on the floor at all, didn't play. So you're two years into um, his rookie contract. So I think that means he has two more years because they don't they only run four years. So next year and the year after, um, if you were to trade him, you would have to package him with something. Cause nobody's gonna take right, it straight and, up. And, and that's and that's why I think the wig is or the clay. So, so uh, shout, shout out my boy Cam. Uh, he he mentioned, he mentioned that Wiggins should go somewhere and to get see if he can become a superstar again, or like had the opportunity to do it again. No, nah. and I and I get I give and I get you I get your point, but it's like that's the only way, like that you're gonna be able to trade Wiseman because I I, I seen a trade OG and, and like I said it could be, it could. It's many ways you can you probably can keep Clay and Wiggins. Like I see the trade that says trade Kaminga and Wiseman and go get OG because apparently OG is get is getting traded. I, every rumor for the Raptors is OG out of here. So for whatever reason, so all of a sudden OG's gone. It makes sense. Breath this guy. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got, yeah. <laughs> hey, but you know, you know me. I love the. I, give me all the wings. I start five wings. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. So so like like I said. So even even if it's not Clay, which I think is. I, Eighty-three million dollars is a lot to me to trade to trade for somebody who just shooting basketball and he can't guard elite players. I don't know if you've seen Jalen Brown dominate this guy, but Jalen Brown was putting this guy in the, hey, in the hey, coffin. Dave, he was doing his thing, man. He was putting him in the coffin too too weak. Like and, and I, everybody wants to say he just got back from injury. Got back from injury. That ain't got nothing to do with your muscle, your strength up top. He he hurt his legs, right? Jalen Brown was bullying this man, and I was like, come on, man. I had to under like, come on, Clay. <laughs> Come on, Clay. I kept saying that all night last night. Um, but but yeah, so like either either way, I think you have to trade Wiseman. You have to pack, package him with somebody, like you said, whether that's Poole and Wiseman, Wiggins Wiseman, Clay and Wiseman, Kaminga Wiseman. Because what happens when he gets to the chance he finally plays and he's not it? Because we're like for for and it's, it's two reasons, it's two guys that you can you can talk about, right? That we like, all right, they they hurt. Or three guys, they hurt, but but Andy Davis, we know he's gonna be he get hurt. I don't care. NB, he get hurt. All right, I don't care. And even Zion, he get hurt. I don't care. Like, but we we're not saying that with Wiseman. Wiseman might be a bust. Like he might be out of here very quickly. And that's and that's what that's I guess what was like where I'm going. Where like if Warriors want to stay competitive for a very long time, you gotta get another superstar here or another star that's prime. Cause Bill Bill 28, Mitchell's like what 24, 25. Um, Mitchell went work. I think him and Steph and probably, and probably, and probably right. Levine, Levine will work. Oh. Levine can shoot threes and be all right if you want to. Um, I think Mitchell. I think Mitchell will work because I think I still think you need two guys who can attack the basket. Like who can get they you know, Curry did a lot of layups yesterday to, to win the finals. Like he, you know, shaking back and going to the basket. Like you need multiple guys who can do that. And I think Mitchell, because you said you said to me uh, early, like you know, some guys are just number twos in the playoffs. I think Mitchell's on that list, right? Because he he a two in real life being number one. So in the season, <laughs> so so I'm just saying, like I'm just thinking, I'm just throwing ideas. But like, if Warriors want to, if Warriors want to stay at the top, the time is ticking, and I don't think you can say like people keep saying, oh, okay, so you can get all these picks. What draft picks gonna do if if it ain't Russell, Harden, KD again? Like like what happens if it's yeah. what happens if it's yeah, plus, like, plus, you- plus? Yeah, the whole thing with draft picks, um, similar to what Philly did with the the whole the process. Jesus Christ! You're hoping to just accumulate so many that at some point you do hit on two or three. <laughs> right, right. That's right. really all you're doing. <laughs> like, like the OKC thing with uh, Durant, Russ, and Harden happened organically. Um, Philly was chasing it, and for the, the most part, they missed. I mean, they they got lucky. Got Embiid fell to them. At three, because he didn't get hurt, he probably went number one. But he fell to you. But he spent some time on the shelf with the the foot injuries and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you got Ben Simmons. They had the Okafor pick. Uh, Nerlens Noel fell to you at six. Uh, they drafted Michael Carter Williams. So like they were, 
they they had more Markel Fultz. Right. They had multiple shots at it. They just didn't execute. And and, and what's the and like I, I guess that's the thing. So like you draft you draft Kaminga, you draft um you draft Kaminga, you draft uh Moody Moody, you draft uh Jordan Poole. Um and like what's the chances are they gonna be your next Steph, Clay, and Dre? You know, I don't I'm not saying they it ain't, but I ain't saying it might it gonna be either. Like it, it's it's hard to it's hard to do that. It's hard to replicate that performance again of of, of elite GM and where you hit 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 right the back to back t- together to win championships like Lakers. They got magic. Then a couple years later, couple years later, you hit you hit worthy. Like now we elite for the long, the long term. You know, long term. They had, they had finessed that pick. That was crazy. Oh well, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. So like that and that and that's the thing. Um, yeah, the Warriors' biggest thing is going to be financial. Like, Steph is signed through 2026. Um, him, Clay, and Draymond collectively are signed through 2024. So, I think that's going to be the point where they decide, do right. we you can wait give these too. guys – like, like I think they're going to run it back for 2022-23, but I think after the next year, that's going to be where they decide, do we push forward with this? Mm. Because you're going to run into some financial – stumbles like at some point because Wiggins makes 33 million next year that's the last year of his deal you, you got Jordan Poole on the the, the small contract only four million dollars he's gonna want to get paid like him and Wiggins were in the locker room we're gonna it. get paid Wiggins already paid <laughs> Wiggins you already got money so between those uh you got Kamingo's on the rookie deal Moody on the rookie deal you're hoping those guys get more playing time develop and stuff like that um, and like you said, we talked about Wiseman. Um, and then from that point, it's what you do with the rest of the roster. Because you you need the Kevon Looney's. Uh, you need the Otto Porters. Mm-hmm. Be at least a gate on some, some great minutes. You need the, the Garrett Payton the seconds. Uh, Damian Lee, he's part of the, the Curry family. Does he right. have oh, a little he, inside, anyway, inside leeway to stay on the team? Oh, you yeah. know, so you got to fill the roster out with some quality, quality pieces. Uh, we know Eagle Dollar's probably going to retire. Does he join a coaching staff or – Go into some front office type role. What does he do? But you know, those are some key pieces that were a part of this team, like from a development standpoint or a play key minute standpoint that you would need. Yeah, and and, and that's and that's that's all I'm saying. Like 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 I said, I I know I know they got a plan in place because they've proven time and time again, whatever whatever they whatever they decide to do it works. So yeah, they they would not be sleep at the wheel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Like this new ownership and Steve Kerr and uh, Bob Kerr. Myers front office, like they are on top of it. They're already thinking ahead, and I so think they, they know they know what they have to do. Yeah, but I think now it's when like the tough, tough decisions will start to get made. And so, like if Clay doesn't come back and have a good year, I think that's when it's going to be on the table. We might have to move him. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm saying it now. He, he, bro. I, I, I don't see it. I don't see him all of a sudden. It's hard to teach a dog do tricks, right? My thing is, in, in this whole Warriors dynasty, as long as you keep Steph Curry, you fine. That's the number one rule, of the, the whole thing. Anything else you do, and keep Draymond. You keep those two. I I, you, you got, you got to in some capacity, you, you got to keep Draymond. Yeah, you got to keep Draymond, and I think those two, everything else, everything else is movable, Regard, regardless of how great somebody is. KD, Clay, Wiggins, Adilo, they all movable. But I just, I just really, I really wish, I really wish. Wars had drafted Lamelo. I I I, w- I really wish they did that because that would that would have already gave you your guy that uh they can put the ball in the basket right uh, or like that can that can contribute and, and attack the basket blah blah. And he him him and oh my god with Curry oh man ah I, I wish the Warriors didn't rob us of that but uh, anyway um we got we we're gonna take a break in about four minutes but before we get to that point. I gotta ask you this, and I want you. Uh, so everybody, all we we knew the, what the people were gonna say if Curry won the Finals MVP versus losing, right? It's and the crazy that why is that such a high floor and ceiling? He lose, we have to, we have to diminish the Warriors dynasty because the first one they won, people was hurt. The next two they won, KD was there, and they haven't won since. Blah blah, right? And then if you win, oh now he's top ten all time. All right, so that's that's first. Like, that's a crazy high floor. There's no way that's that's no way it's possible. Uh, to, in my in my eyes, so if Curry was if Curry is top ten, was he eleven last year? Like, like do we do we like how how did you go from top fifteen, you know, back in 
to a ten. Like you just get five guys and one, and you just get like you, you, you get what I'm saying. Like I don't understand that part. It all depends upon your your ranking system. Yeah. Um, like you know, everybody values certain things. Like you have some people who, I mean, <laughs> you got some keyboard warriors who are like. Oh well, the game was soft in the eight. Well, the game was trash in the eighties. They ain't had no skill. They were just playing football like the nineties. So you have people who are, as time is going on, who are starting to diminish Magic, Jordan, and Bird. Yeah, they and starting yeah. and, and throwing and not that it's a bad thing. It's it's your opinion. They're throwing Curry and others in front of them. That's their opinion. I'm not here to not. I'm not here to discuss that. But that's just a, a preference based thing. Like if you're doing the the Nick Wright system that he's going on YouTube, like top players of the last 50 years, I can see how Curry's in your top 10 because that, that eliminates the Bill Russell's, the Will Chamberlain, and some other guys. So right, right. I can see how if you say, hey, top 50 of the last 50 years, you can say, hey, I got Jordan, LeBron, I got Kobe, Shaq, Duncan, Magic Bird, Elijah Wan, Curry. Like, I can see how you can get into that, yeah. to that yeah, room. Yeah. Right I'm about to say, because like, to me, to me I, I probably got Curry 11-12. I mean, he's right there. And and when I say he not top ten, to me I'm not I'm not saying oh, like he not, he not top ten, so he's thirty. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he right on the outside looking in because, I mean, it took him what it took him this long to. I mean, and like I said, you you basically when you talk about greats, you're nitpicking, right? Like we're holding we're holding these guys to a higher standard. Like if I say it took Curry. You know the whole his whole career to get a Finals MVP. I'm talking about comparing comparing to Jordan, Bird, and Magic. Like I'm not comparing them to, you know, these other like sub sub supporting stars. I'm not I'm not talking about that. You you holding Curry to a higher standard than a lot of these guys. Um, I, I mean, like I mean, you you probably right. Like if you if you take out Bill, you take out Will. Then then I guess, um, especially if you if you have him over Kevin Durant. So, um. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll get on the Boston side um, and see uh, what what kind of went wrong there uh, on their end, and and will they be back? All right, we back. Boston. First off, I'm glad they didn't win. I I, I didn't want them to have 18 championships. I ain't gonna be like, I ain't gonna I'm gonna say, I'm about to say like no no Lakers fan was rooting for them. That like that that that, <laughs> that would not be. They would not be very fan like for yeah. someone who likes the Lakers to, to root for the Celtics under no circumstance. Yeah, I would say I don't care how how much how much uh, you know Warriors want to say this. They they state in a way you can, in a way you root for Boston. Um, they lose um, Al Horford. I don't know how if I don't know if he comes back or whatever he does. Um, you know, Margaret Smart ass yesterday foul trouble. Um, but the two the two main guys, man. Obviously, Robert Williams is is, is a defensive guy, so he he'll bring he he brought he he played his game yesterday. Um, so it comes down to the two guys, man, and, and whether they can ever win together. Um, obviously, you know me, you know I've been saying they should have been split up a couple a long time ago. I was saying it about four years ago. <laughs> so so uh, they stuck it out and they 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 got to the finals. Um, Jalen Brown played a, a a great game his last this last game, but he wasn't that great leading up to it. He was very inconsistent. Um, and then Tatum, man, we all talk about weakness shutting his ass down. Hey, man. so, all right, so look, all right, so I guess I guess I'll ask you this because I know I know you already said you already said uh, what you said about Tatum before I let you say that part. I just want to say, do we let do we let one series or one couple games dictate how great Tatum is? Because with this, we got we got to remember this is also the team that went to the final Eastern Conference Finals without Kyrie, right? Uh, this guy, this guy has this guy has gone further than Embiid has gone multiple times. Um, outside, outside of, outside of Giannis and Jimmy, he's the most like experienced in the East. Uh, am, am I missing somebody? When I say that, no, nah, that's really them. It's yeah. Durant, Giannis, and, and, Durant, uh, and, and, Durant, Embiid and Jimmy. Yeah. So yeah, so outside those three, outside of those three, he's the most experienced and. My thing was like I know a lot of people. Uh, I've been uh, like before. I know I know we we put him in our top thirteen uh, a couple weeks ago, and a lot of people since then has been saying like he's not a superstar, blah blah. And my thing was, my, my I guess my question was to them like, is he a, he's not a superstar because he led his team to the finals, or because he's not on the 
like if 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 we get, if we got a top thirteen, it's levels to it. Like I always try to tell people, like yeah, Tim Duncan is Tim Duncan, like, and and you you know you know me, you know I'm, you know, you know I believe Giannis is number two. I, I I say like Kevin Garnett go so we swap him with uh, with Tim Duncan. Spurs don't win five rings. I think it's a level that 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 KG never reached with Tim Duncan, even though they are very similar. I think it's a never another level. Tatum obviously hasn't reached that level that we think a Kawhi is on, a LeBron James is on, a Giannis is on. Um, but do you still think Tatum is a superstar, or do you think we gave it to him too early, or what? Well, you know Tatum is one of my favorite players in the game. I love what he brings to the table. Um, he definitely. Deserved his first team all NBA. Um, this was his third Eastern Finals, first finals. Uh, they made it in 20, what, 2018, 20, I think 2018, 2020, and then this year. So, like, every even number year, they're, <laughs> they're making it happen. So, um, I lost to Cleveland 2018, Heat 2020 in the bubble, and they lost in the finals this year. So, they're making progress as a team. Um, but like I like Tatum a lot. It's just um I can't say he's not a superstar. It all depends what your definition of it is. You know, if you take into account like the the leadership aspect, like do you and this is all like outside looking in, does someone consider him like a great leader, like a LeBron James or like a is he a great leader or culture setter because uh some people are not Kawhi as a leader or culture setter. he doesn't he's not the most from of the media perspective he's not the most verbal guy so like it's Kawhi not super, he doesn't talk or like in the Kevin Durant case I just want to show up and who is he not a leader because he's just like I lead by example I want to play ball is is Curry not a leader because he's not doing all the young discriminate Drake months doing or is he more of a the calm presence lead by example type guy so I I can't say Tatum is not a superstar because it all depends upon what your definition of it is. I think he's the best player on his team from a talent perspective and production pr- perspective. So to me, that makes him a superstar. But like we always say, there's tears, there's levels to everything. I think Tatum's game for a regular season is superstar-esque. But in most playoffs, I think he benefit from being a number two option. That's what I think. Or he's only five years in the league. He right. hasn't fully – he has not fully developed his game all the way yet. So, like, some of the passes he was making were – some of them were bad decisions. Some of, some of the shots he was taking were bad shots. So, as you get older, develop your game more, go back and watch some film, you will see what he could have done better, certain certain things he should not have done, decision making and stuff like that, situational basketball. So when I say that, I'm not saying that as a a knock or disrespect to him. I'm saying it from a perspective of a Paul George. I think Tatum's career can be very Paul George-esque. As the one, I can get you to the playoffs. I can get you some top three seeds, some Eastern Conference finals, or in Tatum's case, made the finals. But I don't think you are – like I said, he's still only five years in the game. Come on, I'm not trying to be be blasphemous, but like I still think he would be better as a number two. Like I think the Kawhi is the one, Paul George the two, could be something that Tatum may need down the line when he can be someone's elite number two. And, and see, and that's the crazy thing because – like all right, so let's say let's say everybody we, we got our thirteen, and then to me fourteen, fifteen is now. Well, fourteen is like is like Paul George, like right right down the cusp. Like who who do you like? We might have to drop that man. We might have to drop our active, up to date top twenty, top twenty five. Yeah, we need to. All right, so so we won't we won't go through the range right now, but let's just say, if you think he's Paul George esque, okay. So let's just say your friend your friend superstar. Fringed better than everybody else, right? So that, that that's the line because we're talking about Tatum, who in Game Seven against Miami went twenty six and ten, went into Milwaukee down three two, put up forty six on the Bucks to force Game Seven and then win Game Seven. So he already had his moments, right? And then he went out in Game Six against Warriors and stunk it up, like and 
like for people who say Tatum is not a superstar or or, or Tatum Tatum just ain't got it. Well, what the hell do NB got and Jokic? Cause they don't make the finals. <laughs> like, I, I'm just like I mean I'm just like being real. I mean obviously we know the big thing they big men like you know so they're not. I'm not I'm not I'm taking like I, I know I know Jokic and NB bring a lot to the table and we talked about earlier about big men not being valued. I'm still taking take I I just gotta take I gotta take the wing right. So so all right so we're saying if we're saying. Obviously, I think Luca make the make the finals with on the Boston if he's swapped with Tatum, maybe. But no, is he is he on that level? Luca versus Tatum, I, and I think Tatum has, if Tatum can reach that part where he's battled with Luca. Because we, we talk about who's going to be the next guy in the league. Like LeBron and Curry going to fade out. Shout out to let's appreciate LeBron and Curry greatness. No matter what we say or how we you know debate about anything, appreciate them because they're going to be gone soon. Um, and who, yeah, LeBron's about to go into year twenty. That's crazy. I mean, the fact he had the year 19 he had, but he's about to go into year 20. Crazy. Two decades of LeBron. Appreciate dude while he's here. Curry just finished up year 13. Um, like we said, his contract runs through his contract runs through another four years. So they'll put him around year 17, 18 if he sticks it out the entire way. Question for you. I guess it's like a sidebar. Do you think our Jordans, Kobe's of the world should should keep playing, like because I I didn't like seeing Jordan in the Wizards. I didn't like seeing Kobe the last final years with Lakers. Right? I don't like seeing big men Shaq the way he ended. Like, do you, do you think it should be like you think it should like end on like end on top? Because we saw Tim Duncan with water down at the end too. Like, because LeBron doing what he doing now. So let, let's just say you have water down years. You got at least about two or three of those. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, does LeBron go play twenty year twenty five? Because if you if you're nineteen, he's still top five. What happens in what happens in tw- year twenty? He, let's say top ten. The year twenty one, he's top twenty. Like, top fifteen, twenty. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, like, like, if everybody get if everybody get two or three watered down years, Curry and LeBron about to have every record <laughs> in every book. Because I don't see them. I don't see them slowing. You know, slowing down. Tremendously like this Kobe and and, and then Shaq LeBron Lee. has the advantage too of no college. He didn't lose. He didn't lose any years in college. Always healthy. Because like Kobe lost two years because he went to starting. Right. Jordan went to college for three years. Curry went to college for three years. So Le- LeBron like man. Another sidebar. Imagine what the fuck the record would be if Kareem didn't go to college for three years. <laughs> He was, that mug would be out of here, boy. <laughs> hey, that's like, weird. bro, he almost said 40,000 and went three years of college. Man, so whatever, man. And, like, and, and, Kareem, and Kareem was healthy. Like, Kareem played 80-something games every year. Like, <laughs> like that was easy. Work. Oh, my God. But, yeah, like, I just thought of it that because – when we, when we talk about Tatum and all the, kind of the other guys, like, if, if they, they go they go a long time, if they go, however long they go – you talking about these greats? We talk about LeBron and Curry getting out of here, but when is that time? Because you get you get about three water down years where you just like look at look at like look at everybody. Tony Parker, that, that's just a good one. He used to average eighteen points a game. Then he seven, seven and three. <laughs> and like we 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 know why we know why that exists because yeah. like the only people who really left like the game has changed too. So like of course with travel, more modern medicine, training staff, things like that. The only guys who really left, like, without kind of getting too, too, too watered down, Magic left kind of near the top. He had his health issue. Right. So, like, he was on, like, on year 12 when that happened. Uh, Bird's back gave out for multiple reasons. May want to cut his own grass and do stuff out in the yard. So, <laughs> Bird back gave out after 13 years. Uh, Jordan had two, three peaks. He left after, like, year – 10 and then he came back for the three peat. So that was 13 years with the, the, the year and a half gap. Right. Came back for the, with the Wizards. So most guys from that era outside of you know, those three, they kind of near the, near the top, but everybody else stayed for a long time. And even like Kareem, he had some watered down years. So uh, we have a look at it from a perspective of guys just love basketball. Yeah, like their whole life yeah, has been identified with with basketball. This is what they love, and they know once you stop, there's no going back. Like what Jordan did is really unprecedented to stopping your your prime 
come back and still win titles and stop again, that's really unprecedented. Yeah. So yeah, I can see why guys stay as long as they do because like you know once it's over, it's it's really over. I, mean, like, I think I think every I think every single player, every single player was ass. Like <laughs> Like, like, I mean, like, <laughs> it, it all depends how you look at it. Because, like, if you look at anything after, I'll say anything after 2010, Tim Duncan wasn't the same guy, right? And like at at, at 2010, that was like 13 years in the game. Like after that, like his scoring started to go down to like 14, 15 points a game. You know, rebounding, he was still I'm getting say, like if, nine. if you if you did from 11 his, to his retirement, was, was yeah. good elite, yeah, like, but. For the most part, you were always looking like this isn't a prime Tim Duncan. Right, right. You know, he wasn't averaging 22, 25, nothing like that. Like playoff wise, he'll still go drop those buckets on you when he needed to. But it, it really just comes down to like guys just can't sustain that regular season stuff anymore. Well, like in Shaq's case, like after that heat title, he was basically finished. He gave he gave it his all, man. He gave he gave it his all. <laughs> Cause like and and that was a Normally, you're going to get about four, I'll say 12 to 15 years, like great, great years. That what made LeBron the freaking outlier. He's still year 20 doing what the hell he's doing. Because, yeah. like, Shaq, after that Miami title, was not the same guy. Phoenix, Boston, Cleveland, all that kind of stuff. His He was not – his stuff – his production was not there. Or, like, look at, like, Iverson. Once he left Denver, that was like – he was like year, he was like year 14. Detroit, 13, 14, Memphis, oh his, his production was was down. Like, you, you get about 12 to 15 years for your grades, and then it starts to to dip down a little bit, depending upon how what it took care of their body and regular season rest and stuff like that. But most guys, and also depends upon your, your game, too. Some guys don't have a game that can age well. Yeah, that's true. All right, so back to Boston, because I think, I think that's a crazy topic, but uh, to get back to. Um, back to Boston, Tatum and Brown, do they – do they do they ever work? Do they split up? Like do, like because and I don't know. This might be the same as like just like the Warriors where it might not matter. They probably made the right decision because Brad Stevens in the locker room. But I'm thinking like you're not you're not going to win with Marcus Smart, Al Horford, and Robert Williams as your three guys next to Tatum and Brown. Because look at the Warriors: Curry, Clay, Draymond. Right, so you got you, so but Draymond has one role, right? Robert Williams, and that's Robert Williams' role to an extent with defense. Okay, now who's your Wiggins? Like who who's who's the Kevin? Like who's the third guy or or you know like the trio that's gonna put the ball in the basket consistently? Because Marcus Smart had two points in the finals game twice, right? Did he scored two points last night. Oh, he, he I think he had four. Uh, Smart had had a decent. I thought he had a decent game. I no. thought I saw him hit a couple baskets. He had ten. He had, he had like nine or ten assists though. But I think he had like maybe four or six points last night, so that's like that's not gonna work. Like, uh, yeah, he had the, the, the two point game was game two. I I, I want to say the wrong one. The two point game was game two, and he had nine uh, game six. See, to close that's out. not gonna work if you're a third scorer. What, what are we gonna ask Derek White to come off the bench and do something? They ain't got no bench. Derek White, Pritchard, and Grant Williams. That's just ass. Like that's terrible. That's a terrible bench. <laughs> So you got to play Al Horford forty minutes because you got nobody else, right? You got like Marcus Martin foul trouble. You still got to play him because you got nobody else. And, and and I don't know how far Boston can go. I think you might be right as far as a like and like I said, we talk we talk we talk about injuries. Can you can you can knock any championship off? You talk about injuries. Do Boston? Do Boston? Do we even have this conversation right now? Like oh, they'll they'll, they'll be back next year. When they probably will, they probably lo- they lose the Bucks if Middleton there easily, like in probably in five, maybe six. Like they not beaten. I don't think they beat them because yeah, they, I mean they they went seven anyway without Middleton. So I, I mean, of course, you know you add a player back in at his full strength that alters how games are played, how right. the series flows, stuff like that. Right. So potentially, like you said, potentially they don't even get there if Milton was there. I mean, because that changes everything. That changes your scouting report, your coaching matchups, all that kind of stuff. So Yeah, because uh, so like I mean I'm just saying like let, let's just let's just say because because we because we know middle the Bucks don't have a next man up when Middleton or Giannis goes down or Drew. Like they don't I mean like Middleton go down, you playing Wesley Matthews. That's not he that's not even the same type of style they play. They don't play the same game. Like I can see if I can see if like uh 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 you know like Kyle Lowry go down, you play Oladipo. That's fine. We can live with that. 
But Middleton to Wesley Matthews, blah blah, you can't do. So let's just say Boston win, Boston lose that series. Then we're probably we're probably talking about we're probably here again. Like, you know, is it over? Is 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 it ever going to work? Um, and and I think that's the I think that's the whole idea with Boston. Like, if if Tatum and Brown keeps getting better and better and better and better every single year, and you have the nutrition that you always talk about, not nutrition, what's the word? Attrition. Sorry. Yeah. Tripping. Uh, uh, attrition throughout a season where you say Tatum could be a superstar S through the season. Does he? Does the miles on the body run, like run down? Because they play a lot of minutes every series, a lot of games. Hey, look, I don't even want to give. I'm not saying it's an excuse or whatever. I'm like, I'm not trying to give him an out because I mean I think he was great, but I genuinely think Tatum just really kind of okay. Warriors defense, Wiggins, they definitely lock him up at certain spots. I mean, as much as you can lock up a guy that errors basically 27 in the regular season, they stifled him. He took some bad shots. He has some he has the most lot. turnovers in a single postseason ever. So they were stifling him. But I mean, this is where I want to give LeBron some credit. I think Tatum really <laughs> just gassed out at some point, too. I mean, since he's been in the league. His rookie year, he played 80 games out of the 82. Yeah, he's 19, but as be a rookie, 80 out of 82 games, plus they made the East Finals. The year after that, he played 79 out of the 82. Um, the bubble happened. He played in 66 um, of their 72. Uh, the year after that, he played in 64 out of, I think, another 72, something like that. Um, and then this year he played in 76 of the 82. And go to the final. He went to the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's a lot of freaking basketball. It, like, that's what you want to, that's why I want to give the LeBrons and the Kobe's their credit because, like, <clears throat> they were, they, they're machines. They can basketball nonstop. But I, outside of the defense, I think Tatum really gassed out. Right. And, and I, I'll agree with you 100%, 100%. Because on top of that, this is what makes the Warriors so great that. You could have a game where Jordan Poole scores 25. They did in the playoffs. You had a game where Clay scores 30 plus. A game where Wiggins have 26 13 in the finals. A game where Curry almost scored 50. That's four different guys. Boston had Al Horford once, like once a series, right? He go crazy once a series. Marcus Smart go crazy maybe once a series. But if Jalen Brown and Tatum don't be don't be A plus, how far do Boston keep going? And until you get a third guy. Because it's smart play defense, Rob Williams play defense. Somebody got to be that third guy consistently, and they don't have that. So until they until they do that, I don't think Boston ever wins a championship. And they got they got it this year. Um, they, they got to the finals this year, but I didn't give I didn't give them a. I mean, you you said it five, so I know you didn't give them a chance. I gave them a chance out of. <laughs> I said I said Tatum might give you two. <laughs> you said you said they're being blown up. <laughs> I was like, they're gonna be some close games, but I think this is gonna be a five game. And like, it, it, it could have been like game one went how it went, and then of course game two. So I mean, of course, That's if funny. you if the games were to be altered, like how the outcomes went, that changes stuff too about preparation and game plan. But yeah, I thought they have enough players to get you one. That's what I thought. Like they they can get you one. I I didn't see them get two. <laughs> so the fact they even got two was like okay, they they came to play. Like their defense is legit. Uh, like you said about Horford, man, they he got the the crazy twenty six point game in game one, and then he went somewhat crazy again in game six with the nineteen to fourteen. He was keeping him. He, made, he, he made was like, keeping him in the game at some. He point. made three threes and I think in the, in the second half. So you know he he got right for a second there. Yeah, yeah, he was keeping him in the game at some point. I'm, so I'm out. I'm out. I mean, I'm as far as like a until they get a third guy in there. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with Boston. Like. I just, I just, I don't, and I don't know what to do. I don't know, like you can't because you ain't got no access. So I, I don't know. All right. So to be devil's advocate, Toronto, Miami, Milwaukee, Boston. The East has been a revolving door since LeBron vacated that motherfucker. It'd it be, it be, it be the same teams. It be, hey, four. It's, it's been four years and t- nobody has ran how LeBron ran it when, when Jordan was there. For the for the, the back half of his Bull, career, Bulls. he was bull, it was bulls or nothing. Yeah. LeBron Cavs, he, he, he ran nothing. it. Yeah. He he ran it. It is it, him or nothing. So uh the last four years, I I guess we can say the best player slash best team has um, made it. Made well, it. Because, I mean, yeah, because Kawhi yeah. was the best guy in the East 2019. The Heat were the I think they were the one seed in 2020 for the bubble. 
Uh, Giannis was the best player in the, in the league last year. MVP, and then, not MVP, um, but number one seed, right? No, 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 no. There were two or three because they played Nets. No, yeah. no. When, when Bucks met, they were like the three seed, yeah. I think. And then this year, Taylor and Boston were the were the two seed. So, um, I guess you and and, and, and they beat the one seed to get there. I'm about to say Taylor was first All NBA this year, so he so he obviously a top five player in cores of, in, in terms of All NBA wise. He was the only guy from the East to make first team All NBA. And, the, and that's why you in the final. So yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I mean, that, I'm not saying they they sorry. Like I'm not saying they not, they not they might not be back. I just don't think they can I, win. I lied. Giannis made it. I <laughs> lied. <laughs> but yeah, but Giannis, okay, Giannis, you Giannis, 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 Giannis unanimous. Uh, he was yeah yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm just saying like I don't know, man. Until they get the third guy, I'm not interested in the Boston Celtics. Like they, they all be a good team. They play good defense. Udoka did a, a hell of a job in his first year. Like. Oh heck yeah, a hell, a hell of a job. So like, until either either get a good bench where you got a guy like a Tyler Hero off the bench, or get you another starter that that, that replaces Al Horford or something or, or Smart because Smart Smart no way with a point guard man. That's not a point guard. He's a all right. So we're, we're talking about roster construction. We don't want to stay on Boston too long. So I want to just see what you think. What do they do? All right, Tatum's thirty million next year. Brown's twenty six million. Uh, Horford has a twenty-six million, not fully guaranteed. I'm, I'm sure that's an incentive-based deal. Smart is signed through twenty twenty-six at sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Uh, Derek White got paid by the Spurs, I think, so he's still on the books for sixteen, seventeen, eighteen million. Sixteen, just sixteen million. Him. Derek White, yeah. What the hell, are Spurs doing over there? Hey, hey, boy, you hit it with the Chris Tucker money talk. <laughs> $16 million. $16 million. $16 million? Y'all got to put me in on that, man. I want to be down. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? The you, money you, talk, man. $16 million. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy, you're doing the money talk. But yeah, man. Uh, Daryl White, $16 million. Robert Williams, $10 million. Uh, Tice at $8 million. And then everybody else is on the rookie deal. So uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what, what deals they can make, you know? Nothing. I mean, they have movable contracts. Yeah, but the market, the market smart thing can can make or break this team. I feel like he's the guy the Boston fans have gravitated to the most. I think Draymond made a so great if point. You, if you move him, you got to move somebody that's going to be a, a, a culture setter that's going to really embrace that city and can be embraced by the fans. I'm gonna say I think Draymond made a great point. He said because Draymond is, is the brain of the Warriors. He said Marcus Smart the brain of the Celtics. So I don't know if you can get rid of him. Like I don't know. So. I don't know what you do because you, <laughs> to to win you you need you need that you need that Wiggins s type of the type of like start, like a guy who can be a star in the middle you know better better than a role player better than a starter but you know might not be all star but somewhere up in there and I don't know who that is so we'll we'll see um, but they definitely need something if they want to win the championship or at least be more consistent because if Tatum got Tatum got to score thirty points to win every game all right like because because that's the thing Curry had a bad game. Nobody talk about it. Over nine, they won. Nobody cares. Like not no one soul care. Clay Thompson was ass ass yesterday. Not not one person care. Not one soul care that Clay Thompson scored twelve points yesterday. Not one soul because they won the game. Tatum 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 was ass yesterday, and it's all we talk about because they lost the game. So I I think I think I think and Brown game was getting uh swept under the rug. He scored thirty four. Nobody talk about nobody talk about how great he was last night, but but if you do, well, what about game one through five, Jalen Brown? Like you know what I'm saying? So you, you give me somebody that's more consistent to help to help them out, or, or break them up one or two. And that's that's all I got. And, like that's why I think they should they they can't do it. But what if you were if you were to slot everybody down one notch lower, it's the perfect team. Like if you if you slot Tatum as your two, Brown as your three, Smart as your four, like your fourth option. That's when you really cooking with a good team. Like if they had MB Tatum Brown smart or, or this this was like a Luca Tatum Brown something like that. Or if they pulled the damn trigger and got Anthony Davis way back when, <laughs> they probably could have done it. Like maybe maybe you can get Cat. I don't know. I don't know. He done the one, but or at least get you a a two A two B at Brown your three something. Like, I, I don't think a big man's on the table. Well, they, yeah, um, probably not. Just because I, I know that they, they love Al Horford, so I don't. They, they would have got it back. Williams. They love Rob Williams too. So, 
Yeah, so I, I don't think a big man. So, what, so who, do you, who do you replace? They love Al. They love Rob. They love Marcus Smart. <laughs> you gotta get a six. Like, man. I think I think they're really attached to this team because Brad Stevens coached it. Danny Ainge drafted it. Brad Stevens coached it, and now you dope is there. Now you can tell he loves the team. So, you know, I'm all for being patient because like it's so hard to find good talent, but right. at the same time, you do have to to make changes to improve your roster. Like running it. Running it back only gets you so far. Like you can keep your core, but you can't keep running it back for so long. So like, Derek the, White. That, that, like the Derek really White was a great in season addition. It, it was it was a great move. It was a great move, but, but playoff six, wise, it didn't really for sixteen well, in the me, final. He had a, like, he, in the finals, it didn't really uh, show you a whole lot. He had to sit down. He couldn't guard nobody. Too, <laughs> like you can't guard. You can't guard. It's like he's small, so you, you got to guard Steph. But that's smart. That's smart matchup. So he gonna guard six, seven, six, eight. Clay Wiggins? No. You're too little for that, so that you gotta sit down. So, yeah, until Boston, yeah, Boston need a third guy, and they they'll be fine. But they'll be fine either way. They'll they'll be they'll still be here. Tatum yeah, Brown, they're gonna be a they're gonna be a, a good team in the East year. no matter what. Yeah, I mean, t- technically, Smart got better every single year. So, Tatum Brown and Smart, yeah, that's your guy. So, Al Horford old as hell. So, anyway, we'll be back. Uh, NBA draft is when? Uh, Thursday. That shit happened fast as hell. Anyway, we'll, so we'll we'll uh we'll we'll be back. We'll we'll talk about we'll talk about uh I guess you want you want you want reactions after the first round, or do you want you want you want to talk about before? Uh, we can do whatever, man. We can do a, a big board, best player, best fit, or we can do it after the draft, see where everybody does go, and kind of see how that may shake up we'll, for the we'll do the that. We'll do, so we, we can do we can do a, a half and half or something. I don't know. We can right, do we'll, a little we'll, bit of both. we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do a prediction first round mark, maybe like, maybe like the top five, top ten, and then we'll see how we'll see if we're close. See we'll see who the, clue the closest one was. We'll do that. So uh, we'll be back. Uh, make sure y'all check out. Check us out. Appreciate care, people. Rashad, we out.